Hey, what is up, guys? It's Chirag here from Hardware and PC, and today we are installing Android Marshmallow on your Nexus 4 device. So, let's get started. In this tutorial, we are installing Android M on your Nexus 4 device and also routing it. So first, you will need three files. The one is the Android M ROM file. The second one is the Android M Google Apps file. And the third one is the Super SU file for uh, routing. So let's jump into the recovery and start flashing our ROM. First, you will need to switch off your phone. Uh, I am currently using a uh, TeamWin recovery project that is Twerp recovery for flashing this ROM. But you can use the clockwork mode recovery or fails recovery also. So let's wait for it to shut down and hold down the volume down button and the power button to boot into your bootloader. Uh, and then select the recovery mode. So first let's go to the wipe section and factory reset our data. The factory setting your device will remove all the data from your device uh, like Google accounts and apps that you have. Uh, it will not format your uh, internal SD card or anything. So let's just swipe for factory reset. Be sure to backup your data so anything goes wrong you can also recover it. So let's go back. Then uh, go to the install section of this recovery. Uh, need to go uh, in android m folder i just made uh, yes uh, there it is uh, then click on the aosp mako uh, file uh, and just flash it the flashing is done now uh, so let's just go back and the select the second file that is gapps uh, mm fix and flash it now for the routing part let's just go back and select the third file the beta super su file and flash it when this is done the only thing that is left to do is to reboot into your system so let's reboot into my system so the reboot will take 15 to 20 minutes to complete so let's just wait for it to complete and I will be back when it's done. So it is done now. So let me just uh, quickly set up my device for uh, my Wi-Fi and my Google account and then I will be back. So my device is fully configured now. Uh, so let's just go to the Android settings. Um, yeah. Uh, then about phone and Android version. To activate the easter egg the easter egg is same as the lollipop one but uh, it is kind of easy to play uh, it is the same that flappy bird type thingy uh, but it is easy to play and ju let's just jump into the super su to show you guys that this is also rooted uh, install yes okay and as you can see uh, it is rooted uh, I don't have any apps for that so guys, if you like this video, please hit the like button and if you have any queries, just hit me up on my Twitter or my Facebook account or you can leave a comment down below. And also subscribe to my channel for more of this content and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.